Hi, I'm Nick from The Barrel Outlet, and we're going to show you how we glass bed rifles here at The Barrel Outlet. Uh, I was taught this technique a little over 30 years ago by a guy, a really good gunsmith up in Denver named George Orndorff. Worked with Ike Starks at a place called Sports West. There are several different kinds of glass bedding compounds that you can use. There's uh, Brownells Acre Glass, there's Marine Tex, Vice Knight. Um, opinions vary on which one you should use. Um, for this job here, we're going to use Acre Glass that we got from Brownells Acre Glass Gel. Um, there's nothing wrong with Marine Tex, nothing wrong with Vice Knight. It's all what you prefer to use best. Any one of the three will give a good job. James does our uh, woodwork here in the shop, and so without further ado, let me get James to show you guys how we do it here. Hi, I'm James from The Barrel Outlet. Uh, we have done all of our prep work ahead of time. through, removed finish from everywhere that you want your glass bedding to be at and have taped off everywhere you don't want your glass bedding to be at. Um, along with removing the finish, we've used a Dremel tool and put striations to give the, uh, the wood some teeth to hold on to the acro glass. So in prepping your barrel to action, um, we've puttied off with just modeling clay um, everywhere that we don't want the acro glass to be that could also create a mechanical lock and give you trouble when pulling the action out of the stock. Uh, we've also waxed everything. I'll repeat that, wax everything. You're gonna have sticky hands, so you're gonna be touching things. You don't want the acro glass to get where you don't want it. And you also wanna be able to remove the stock. Uh, we use a Johnson's paste wax, uh, just a clear paste wax available at most hardware stores. Uh, it works great as a release agent. Um, and when it comes down to cleaning the stock afterwards, or cleaning the action afterwards. If you have anything that's stuck on there, you can heat it up and the wax will just release any little bits of acro glass that are stuck to it. Now, at this point, we free floated the barrel and the stock already and made sure that the action was inletted properly. Um, this rifle had a little wiggle room in it as far as centering the barrel and the barrel channel. So we've added some tape to give it thickness uh, so that it'll sit centered in the barrel channel. All right, so now we're going to mix up our acro glass. We want to use equal parts as per instructions. We want to be very accurate in this and low. 
level scoops. Um, one way will cause it to harden too fast if you add too much hardener. If you don't add enough, you run the risk of it not hardening all the way. Always mix more than you need. You don't want to have to be mixing to get a little bit more afterwards. As far as mixing goes, I like to clean up between products. That way you don't cross contaminate your products and end up having some hard acre glass in your containers. Right, so now that we have equal parts, we'll mix for two whole minutes, ensuring that we get a good consistent blend. All right, so now we've mixed our acker glass very well for two whole minutes, and uh, more stirring is better than less. You've got plenty of time to work with this stuff, so make sure that it's consistent. Um, once you have a good consistent mix, we're gonna add some acker glass brown dye to match the stock as best we can. Now you don't want to overcolor it and have it too dark. So add a little bit, stir it in real well. We've got our color pretty close. Uh, some stocks are redder than others, but the best you can do is, is good. Uh, you really only see a hairline of it on the side of the receiver. So I think we're ready to start applying. Um, so what you want to do is start with just a little bit on your craft stick or whatever your applicator is. You want to work it in to all the crevices to make sure that you don't have any bubbles. I always start with just a little bit to get all the surfaces coated and then I'll come back and add more for thickness. You want to make sure you're working all the bubbles out. Plenty of working time with backer glass, so be thorough. Make sure you get it everywhere.
now that all of our surfaces are coated and we're pretty certain we've worked all the air out of there, we'll start adding for thickness. Squeeze out is the name of the game here. You always want more than not enough. So now we're going to take our thoroughly waxed parts. If you can fit your magazine in from the bottom, it'll help keep some of that bedding compound from squeezing down out. So you want to go straight down in. Slowly push the receiver in to squeeze all that acro glass out the sides. And once it's seated in there well, you can loosely insert your guard screws just to hold everything in place. So now that everything's held in place, tighten those guard screws down, alternating so that it squeezes in evenly. Until you're nice and snug. Now you can go in, remove some of this excess, which will make cleanup easier later. Cleaning all this up will also ensure that you don't get a mechanical lock of the acro glass grabbing any particular parts. Mm -hmm. 